Hey, it's Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Wanted to go over a little bit today on vacuum decay and vacuum leak testing. A lot of guys don't understand how to set their gauge up when they get it and what a proper decay test is. And when we're talking about decay, what we're talking about is moisture in the evacuation system. So uh, once we get down below a thousand microns, about 99% of the load is water. And so we wanna make sure that system is dry. And this is especially important when we're talking about heat pumps because now we have a system that's operating in the winter and the outdoor coil, which is now the evaporator, can operate far below freezing. And that moisture could have really detrimental effects to the system as far as either freezing up in the system or because we're running uh, higher head pressures uh, due to the fact that we're heating, we have a, a chemical factor in there that can make acids and sludge and really reduce the life of that heat pump. So when we go ahead and do this, I've got this system uh, right now. This is a five ton coil and it's uh, open to atmosphere right now. It's, it's uh, not under any vacuum at all. Uh, I actually opened it up to the air in the room because I want to show you know, it, that we haven't you know, uh, like run nitrogen or anything else. So it's literally just open to atmosphere here. And uh, it's uh, right here, it's nothing, no vacuum on that. So we'll go ahead and close that up. And what I've got is I've got a, uh, a JB uh, 8.4 CFM pump. It's got the DC motor on it. We're gonna use for evacuation. I've got this tied in with a Y force, which is basically a, three, a half to three eighths by three eighths Y. And so we split this hose and it's actually a really nice little connection because I'm able to get the two hoses uh, connected on here easily with a lot of extra room here to, to manipulate these and tie these guys down. And then I'm tied onto two core tools. So I'm pulling from both sides of the system. This is uh, on a 3 8 pipe, and then this one here goes around and goes to the back on the 7 8 pipe. So I've got 50 foot of 3 8 7 8 pipe like we typically have on a system if we we're doing a new installation. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do two things here. I'm gonna get stream on my app so we can actually see this. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect to the BlueVac application. So I'm gonna click on here, and I'm gonna select the BlueVac Pro on here. Now the Blueback Pro has some decay and leak testing features on there. And once we have this thing connected, I'm just gonna close that up and you can see we're starting to graph right now. I'm gonna go ahead and restart the graph and I'm gonna start the pump. Now when you start this pump, what you wanna make sure of is that this gas ballast right here is open. And you'll run it with a gas ballast open because it helps get oil into the, uh, in, into the veins. This is a two-stage pump. So we wanna open this when we start it and we wanna open, open it before we close it and let it run for a few minutes. I'm gonna start this guy up here and we're gonna hear right away it's gonna hog uh, quite a bit of air. So it's a soft start. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close this guy down. And you can hear we're really pulling that down quickly. I'm gonna hit restart the recording here and we'll start to see the vacuum come down. So this is gonna pull down very quickly and let's just go over settings now while this is coming down. I have this set up for a comfort cooling service for uh, five tons and with a TXV. And you'll notice I have my evacuation target set at 100 microns and my decay at 200. If we go all the way back into the 1950s um, and you go to the re review of vacuum for service engineers, which I'll point out in the guide here, 100 microns was an ideal pull down with a, between 100 and 200 for ideal finishing vacuum. And you go, well, how do we get away from that? How, why are we at a 500 and a thousand? And it's because we've literally forgotten how to do evacuation as an industry. Now, there's a time below target setting, which I have set at five minutes. So that means when the, when the graph is it's plotting down, when it, when it hits the 100 micron target, we're gonna hold below that for five minutes and it'll pull down below 100 microns. And then I have my time below decay target or my decay time set for 30 minutes. Now, what we wanted to do with this is we want to make sure that there's no appreciable rise after 30 minutes. Back in the day, we'd actually have to wait 30 minutes and the Blueback app has an algorithm in it that actually watches the rise over run and can tell you in about 30 seconds to a minute if you're going to pass that 30, uh, 30 minute decay test. So I have this set, again, 100 for the target and I have this set at 200 for the decay show evacuation target on the chart, five minutes for, for below the target and 30 minutes for the K and I'm just gonna hit OK. So now if I go here, you can see we're already down in a couple minutes here. We're at one minute and 45 seconds. We're already at 400 microns on there 
And you can see we're coming down on our graph uh, quite quickly on there. Um, and we're just about down to our minimum of decay target. So we're gonna pause here for a minute and let this come down till we hit the, the targets and I'll show you what happens next. Uh, one quick note, this, this app is bi-directional communication with this gauge. So when I program the, the app through the, or when I program it through the app, I send that data back to the gauge so it'll walk us through that evacuation process. Uh, across the bottom here, you can see we have a little symbol for a valve. And that valve is right now indicating that these two core tools are open and we're pulling a proper evacuation. So let's just go, we'll go let this go for a minute and we'll be right back. All right, so now we're down to about 123 microns and we're at a pull down of 24 microns a minute. So in about a minute here, we're going to uh, be at the next step here. But I wanna show you a couple things here is that uh, I put another micron gauge on here so we can see the differential pressure. So at the pump inlet, we are at about 36 microns of pressure right now. And then at the pump, at the coil here, we're at 114 microns here. So you gotta always remember that the pressure from in the coil is pushing into the vacuum pump. So it's always, pressure travels one direction from high to low. So we're always gonna be lower at the pump than we are at the coil itself. We're as far, about as far away we can get. So this would be like maybe where an external equalizer would connect for a TXV. Um, but it's very important to understand that the pressure at this gauge at the inlet of the pump is not reflective of the pressure in the system. In this case here, we're almost 100 microns higher uh, at that point. So we're getting down here and uh, we're gonna cross here 103, 104. So when we hit 100 microns, we're gonna get a, a couple of indications here. So we'll let it get down. We're just about there. And mark, all right. So now what's gonna happen here is, if we scroll ahead here, you're gonna see we're at that four minutes that we're gonna run below, and it started out at five minutes, but we're at our time below target. So we crossed 100 microns, that's actually started a countdown on the gauge, and that's also running here on the gauge right now. So you can see we're at 439, there we go, 436, 438, 439. We're at the same thing here on the application. So it sent a command to the gauge to tell it to now wait and go down below this target. And what we're letting it do is just basically dehydrate. If you look at this uh, app right now, if we scroll over from the graph to the, to the round UI, we're in our final finishing vacuum and we're just basically drying that system out, getting all the moisture out of it so that when we do our decay test, we're not gonna have an appreciable amount of rise. So we're gonna give this another five minutes here and we'll come back again. All right, so we got about 36 seconds to go and I just wanna point out a couple things here. At minute three, we were at 210 microns, and if we tap down here, we're at 97 microns at uh, minute 6.33, so six minutes and 33 seconds to actually hit that target. We've got um, right now a total of, let's see, 11 minutes elapsed time pulling this evacuation. So in 11 minutes, we are down to 64.6 microns, and we'll go back here we're at a saturation temperature of negative 51.9. So at negative 51.9 now, we just hit the, the, the minute mark here. So now it's telling us to isolate the system. So you can hear my gauge is beeping here and it's flashing. Come over here and get a, a little screenshot of that. So you can see where the gauge is flashing, telling us that it's uh, ready to put into isolation mode. What I wanna do here now is I wanna very slowly close these valves off. And the reason I want to do this very slowly is because there's trapped gas. And if you listen here, you'll actually hear a small change in the pump, maybe. Yep, no change in this one. All right, so we're isolated there. Now we're gonna get the lower one here. And there you can hear a small change if you can listen to it. And now we got both sides of the system isolated. We're gonna hit continue. And what you're gonna see now is we're gonna be in decay. So we're four seconds into decay. If you look at that graph, you can start to see, and I'm gonna actually go to the, uh, the, the linear log, let's see, your auto, there we go. You can see now with that small amount of rise, but how, how flat that is coming up because the system is very dry now and it's got a very short level of decay. So now it just passed the decay test. So 
we're at the point where it's saying the rise over run is so low right now. In fact, our loss here is one micron a minute. So in 30 minutes, we're gonna go up 30 microns and we're at 71 microns now. So in 30 minutes, not only are we gonna not pass the 200 uh, mark, the 200 micron mark, we're not even gonna pass the 100 micron mark because we're at 71 microns at a rise rate of one micron per minute. And as this goes up, this will actually goes down to zero microns per minute. So this point here, all you gotta do is hit finish and save. And I can view the uh, report if I wanna review the report. I can add job information, but you can see my total elapsed time was 13 minutes, 14 seconds to get down to final finishing vacuum of 72 microns. Ultimate pull down was at 12 minutes and five seconds at an average temperature of uh, 73 degrees with a Blueback Pro. So you can see how quickly you can do this. And it's so important to get that system dry and make sure that you don't have this rapid rise. And I'll show you a little graph of that on, on a slide here. But that rapid rise is an indication of a buildup of vapor pressure in the system. So if, the, if we have a leak in the system, we're gonna have a constant rise over run. It's just gonna be a straight linear line going up. If we have moisture in the system, it's gonna go up and then it's gonna tail off like this. And that tailing off is an indication that we have moisture in the system. So we wanna make sure that we get that ultimate moisture level down um, as, as low as we can. And in this case here, we got it down to a uh, saturation temp of negative 50. So that means all the way down the outdoors, the outdoor coil could be all the way down to negative 50 before we actually get any uh, formation of, of, of residual water vapor in the system to water. So that would far exceed any heat pump application we have and that's gonna give so little moisture in the system that the residual, the refrigerant and the dryer will take care of it. So this is the, the way you wanna do it every time. If you got any more questions or comments, please leave them in the video. But please stop evacuating down to 1,000 microns. That is way too high of a final finishing vacuum for a heat pump system. You really need to adjust your targets down to 100 and 200. And by the way, you probably can't do that without true blue hoses. That's the magic here to get these deep, fast evacuations. This is Jim with MeasureQuick on behalf of AccuTools. Thanks a lot for watching.